Lisa here coming to you from the prairie. Today we're going to talk about insects like this lubber grasshopper I have here on my hand. Now this lubber grasshopper isn't native here to Illinois, but we're going to use him as a good example of learning about the different characteristics of insects. Did you know that there are more uh, insects on earth than there are people? There's about 7 million people here on our planet, but there's over 10 quintillion insects. Over estimated over 30 million different species of insects that live here with us. And where do they live? Just about everywhere. They live in land, they live in the water, they live on plants, they live in your houses, and some of them even live on you. So today we're going to take a look at these insects, find out what makes them so interesting, and how we can identify them so uh, we learn to respect them versus just want to squish them. So let's take a look at this lubber grasshopper pretty closely, and we can see what makes him a cool insect. What are the basic characteristics of insects? This is our lubber grasshopper, a good example of an insect. Insects have three main parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head contains two antennae and compound eyes. The thorax, you will find six legs and sometimes wings. Not all insects will have wings. But all insects will have these main characteristics. Three body parts, six legs, and two antennae. Now let's test your insect IQ. Take a look at the following pictures and see if you can identify the insects. Let's see how you did. If you guessed the bee, the beetle, and the butterfly, you're correct. They meet all the criteria to be an insect. Hi there. Well, now I hope you can identify insects with confidence. But remember, even though you might not like insects, please don't just squish them because you don't like them. Insects are very important. A lot of them, like mosquitoes, which we really don't like, are a huge food source for frogs and for some of our birds. Uh, insects also help to decompose things like the leaves that fall on the ground in autumn. And most importantly for us is that they're pollinators. Pollinators that help us to have fruits that we like, like apples, and tomatoes, cucumbers, and watermelon. So all those kind of things depend on pollinators to help them to complete their, their life cycle so we can have food. So I'm going to go catch some bugs and see if I can learn some more about them. Hope you had a great time. Remember, all bugs are insects, but not all insects are bugs. See you next time.